Whenever we're on set or on location, we need a power source to charge and power our camera gear. On most shoots, regular power stations are sufficient, but for bigger productions, these usually don't have enough capacity. On recent productions, we tested a power station with a capacity of 6400 watt hours from Zendure. The Superbase V6400 is a high end model with built in semi solid state batteries, mobile app control, and it can charge and power multiple cameras for a few days. The first thing that's noticeable is the large size. Even though this is a portable system, it's not meant to be carried around by hand since the total weight is 59 kilos. The unit has four wheels and can either be manually pulled by an extendable handle or driven motorized. The Superbase V6400 has a lot of plugs and connections to power electronics, but also to recharge the device itself. Important for charging video gear are of course USB outputs. The station has four USB-C PD charge outlets and two USB-A plugs positioned at the front. Other connections like the AC outlets are protected by plastic cover doors. The V6400 can be set up with solar panels, but also with Zendure's own satellite batteries. Commonly, such a system would be used for home energy storage or off-grid living, but this is also a good fit for professional video shoots. We have mainly used it on remote locations and charged and powered up to six devices simultaneously, including two cinema cameras. Having a high capacity of 6400 watt hours also means that it's possible to use a power hungry editing computer or multiple laptops without needing to worry about a limit of electricity on an 8 to 12 hour day of filming. According to the manufacturer, the V6400 semi-solid state batteries have a life cycle of more than 3000 charges or could even last more than 10 years. These types of batteries are supposed to be safer, with better capacity and more reliable compared to the standard live PO4 batteries that are used in most power stations. In case of a power outage, uninterruptible power supply can be provided. The US version of the V6400 has a switch time of 0 milliseconds, while other versions can take up to 13 milliseconds, depending on the specific setup. The Zendure mobile app can be used to monitor the energy consumption, but also to adjust the two light stripes at the front sides. There are presets available, but the colors can also be customized. Having the ability to remotely drive the V6400 is not just a fun feature, but actually helpful since the station is rather heavy. The wheels do a good job outdoors on streets and asphalt, but will work best on flat surfaces. The smaller front wheels can also be locked to avoid the station from moving on uneven grounds. Since most settings can be checked and adjusted in the mobile app, there aren't many buttons on the device itself, but the four buttons at the front are well integrated. The screen brightness is good for indoor use, but can be hard to read when setting up the station outdoors. But since the app shows all settings in detail, it's best to use a phone anyways. Having protective covers for most of the connections and plugs is a smart choice, especially when using it outdoors. As it is common, the device's housing is made from plastic, but is overall well designed. The build quality seems to be robust, and the inside is well protected and only some parts of the side are open to allow airflow for the fans. Because this is an extreme powerful tool, the air vents have quite some work to do. 
While the audible fan noise wasn't a big deal on most of our productions, it's something to keep in mind when setting up the station at a specific spot. The Zendure Superbase V6400 is a premium tool and not exactly cheap, but considering its capacity and variety of features, it can be a useful addition to professional video productions who need long-lasting power supply that can be further extended with dedicated satellite batteries.